Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Hufi News. Today is May 25th, 2021. We are going to give you all one of the top stocks that is to sell right now in order to make money. Now, everyone that you see here on YouTube only give you one biased direction, and that is expecting price to always go higher and higher. No one else gives you videos on when to expect stocks to go down. We can play it all here on this particular channel. We play the market going higher, we play it going lower, and we can even play when the market doesn't move at all, where it just trades sideways. And if you want to join our team, join our community, before you leave, make sure you hit the like button, share, and subscribe in order to join our team of community that ensures that we get in position to win into the market rather than reacting to price movement. Okay? And we're going to show you a confusing chart, right? One thing that we try to alleviate here on this channel is the confusion. There is enough confusion being replicated throughout these markets, whether you're in a cryptocurrency market, commodity space, even in the stock market. You need to get rid of and eliminate that confusion in order to be profitable and to maintain profits. And we're going to show you all that on this particular channel based off of clean charts. So look at our chart right here. This is all you need in order to understand where prices is going to go. Then I want you all to look at this one right here. Take a look at this chart right here. It's too much going on on this particular chart. This is what people term technical analysis. Now, the only thing that you and I are worried about when we really truly be honest with ourselves is where in the world is price going to go? And Technical analysis makes it so complicated just to get an idea as to where price is going to go. Just imagine if you were to go into any retail store to purchase some clothes and you would have to do all of this analysis just to gauge whether or not a particular shirt is at a discount or if it's at a great buy. It makes no sense. So why when you come into a stock market, which is just like a store, that you will go through all of this just to determine if one product is a buy. This is one of the biggest catalysts as to why people lose money in the markets is because there is thousands of technical indicators out there that confuses you. Look at what's going on in this particular chart. Do you even have an idea as to where price is going to go? He has two indicators down here at the bottom right he has triangles shapes letters numbers horizontal lines what does it even mean why would you even come and post this expecting people to even realize what you're trying to hit at why and then look at the post down here long term bullish bat the pzz which is now support used to be a major resistance classic bullish divergence on four hour and developing on daily if you don't even understand technical analysis why would you even write this first of all being new to the market you will come in and say what in the world is a bullish bat and then secondly what is pcz and then you have to look up what is bullish divergence you don't even do this when you go into any retail store. You go into the store, you come in and purchase what you came here for, and you walk out the store. Retail establishments makes it as easy as possible. I mean, everywhere you look into a store, you may see discounts, signs, clearances, just to bring your mind over to that particular product. This keeps you away because you have no ideas where price is going to go. So you can look at this chart or you can take a look at ours. So now let's talk about why Dollar General is a sell and how you can make money in Dollar General on the downside. First thing is first, you and I can both visually see that Dollar General is in a massive uptrend. The market in Dollar General seemingly always goes up, right? But it doesn't mean that you cannot play the weakness within that. So let's take a look at the trend into the market in Dollar General first. So 
So let's see this market in dollar general trade. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in and we're gonna hold this area right here as support. Okay. Now it's not precise, but it's in this vicinity. You guys can see when the market in Dollar General comes and bounces off of this line. The longer that the price trades on the left side of this line, we will go higher in price, period. That's simple, okay? So when we switch over to the different time frames, though, is where we're gonna see that this market in Dollar General is still harnessing to us weakness, right? So the only thing that we need to make a determination on is how low can this market go? And the first area that I'm already seeing is down here around $195, which is not far. But seeing that that area can be support, you will have to come in and TP out the market there in Dollar General, right? The next area would be, we got 195 second area will be around 192 190 dollars right to see that market weakness to hold support what about on the three weeks we have three days and ten hours left on this current three weekly price bar this is where you're really seeing a weakness at okay to where 190 dollars is definitely feasible for dollar general to come through and then the probability within the long term three weeks we can see this market come and test this ascending line in dollar general right there so placing this on the chart we can see at 190 that that would be about 3.61 percent probability in that particular weakness this area right here 210 is where support i'm sorry restriction is this is where we're expecting the market to get restricted and trying to break up above that price 210 maybe even possibly right here around 205 we can see that as well so this is where we're seeing the weakness five weekly time i mean the five weekly price bar you can still see here that this market in dollar general is still giving us weakness we have three days and ten hours left for the month of May and look at how this market in dollar general is trading. This is why we're going to play the weakness right here because in the long term is where we're seeing the overall weakness come through in dollar general. Now it doesn't mean that you'll have days to where the market will go higher because you sure will. But from a longer viewpoint, you can see that this market in dollar general is definitely hinting at some weakness. And this is how we're going to play the market. And this is how you're able to win in this particular stock when it goes down. You get in a position, you find out where the area of support is, and you find out where the area of restriction is at. So currently we're going to play the weakness here into the market dollar journal. Our first area that we will skim off just a little bit of profitability would be around 195. Okay. And that will give us around one and a quarter percent. That's only because we've have here in the background some areas of slight support that's it but looking at this in the long term i'm not looking for the market in dollar journal to hold 195. 190 would be the biggest area of which i would expect the trap to come in and hold that support area and then if not that 187 for support so this is it we're in position we're expecting the market to go lower in dollar general. Now it's your turn. Tell me which stock do you think, if it's not dollar general, that you think is a sell right now? You need to see all sides of the market so that whenever you come into a store, you can make a determination. Oh, yeah, that, that's too expensive. Or I'm not going to touch that particular stock yet because it looked like it's going to continue to go lower. Like you don't you want to see from different viewpoints what the market actually looks like. And when you continually see it from one side, you become less prepared of when the market actually drops. So we want to give you a different viewpoint. You know, you want to learn how to see when the market is weak and when to expect it to go down. Not just buy the dips, buy and buy and buy. No, sometimes you just need to see when the market is weak and wait to come into the store until it gets real cheap and you come in and buy it there so let's do it 
tell me your stock that you think is a big sell right now. Leave me the comment in the comment section. Let me know. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.